feel a bit disoriented after the therapy you've been through. It was just a little harmless ECT. And the discomfort you may have gone through is nothing really, Jessica. As long as it has led you to embrace your destiny. What? Your future. You're about to have a baby. He's on his way right now. I'm gonna have a baby, but I but I'm not pregnant. Well, the chosen one is being carried by a surrogate vessel. I don't understand. Do you know who I am? Your father, the messenger. And you are my daughter, Jessica Lawrence. And the baby? The baby is the chosen one, your son. Let me show you. See? We're all ready for him. Mm -hmm. He'll be in your arms before you know it. from me if all goes well why shouldn't it what took you so long Jessica I've Don't never been more. so happy to see someone my entire life are you okay they didn't hurt you did they look we can we can work together we can get out of here okay hey, there's two against two and I can fight dirty look I know we haven't been the best of friends but Rex is so worried about you they all are are you okay Jessica! What the hell do they do to you? Jessica! It, it's Stacy! Do you not remember me? You let Dorian, Lord, and Charlie follow you up that mountain? When I got to the hospital, they had Stacy. I had to throw them. What do you mean they had Stacy? They were leaving with her. I surprised them in the parking garage. Jessica! And then what happened? And then they followed us. Oh, so much for Dorian's loyalty as mayor. I don't think she's going to be a problem anymore. Oh, yeah? And why is that? It's snowing heavily. She lost control of her car. I think they went over the mountainside. And so she's dead? I didn't stop. But from what I could see, it was a very bad accident. God rest their souls. It's time. Hey, time for what? Why, to deliver the Chosen One, of course. How? I mean, look at me. I'm not in labor. Tell him. Stacy's labor appears to have stopped. Oh. Well, perhaps we should uh, examine the vessel. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. No one's touching me. There's nowhere to hide. Jessica, wake up. I need your help. Good girl. What did you give her? Why is she acting like such a zombie? If you don't cooperate, Stacey, you'll find out for yourself. Look, I don't know what you have going on here, but I really don't want to be any part of it, so just please let me go. Go where? Out into that blizzard? All on your own? Oh, Stacey, that's just not sensible. Look, you're cold. You're tired. You've been through a terrible ordeal. The sensible thing would be to let Nurse Charles make sure your baby's all right. That's what a good mother would do. Yes, a good mother would not go out into the dark and the cold, especially when she knows that she is so very far from any hospital. She would ask for help. Stay away from me. Stacy, don't be foolish. You really think you can take care of a fragile, tiny baby? Without our help. Oh, your hands are cold. Yeah, go talk to him. Leave me alone. Messenger. 
Well? I'm sorry, Messenger, but it appears that Stacy's labor has stopped. And frankly, I don't think that she's due for another three or four weeks. How can that be? We know when she conceived. We know that my son never laid another finger on this little tramp after that one sordid incident. Exactly, and that's what I told you. Rex is not this baby's father. You're not its grandfather. Thank God. Sorry. She's desperate. She'll say anything. Enough. All right, young lady. Suppose you tell me everything that happened exactly as it happened and don't leave a thing out. So, what happened? Okay. <clears throat> so the truth is, I did get pregnant with Rex's baby. But then my sister, Gigi, she, she came over the loft trying to harass me about having an abortion. What's this? That's almost $300. <laughs> almost $300? What do you expect me to do with this? This won't even cover a month's groceries, let alone rent an apartment. Maybe not, but it's enough to make that pregnancy go away. I lost the baby. Well, if that's true, then why didn't you tell Rex that you had had a miscarriage? I was going to, but I just couldn't. I mean, the baby was the only tie we had. Rex didn't really, I mean, he wasn't exactly convinced that he wanted to be with me, so he had to stick around as the baby. Then I had the miscarriage, and losing the baby was hard enough, but to lose Rex, too. And then my friend Kemi came in town, and she had this great idea. But he knew that if I could get pregnant, like, Instantly, I could make Rex believe that it was still his. I mean, the only problem is I wasn't going to get Rex to sleep with me, so... Kim and I came up with a list. So? Who will it be? Okay, boys. What are you going to make me pregnant with Rex's child? All I know is this isn't Rex's baby. I know you have big plans, and I'm sure you're disappointed, and I'm sorry. I really am. I would have given anything to have a baby with Rex. It just... It didn't work out that way. Go on. Wait, what more do you want to know? I want to know how you perpetuated this charade, if that's what it was. And then you'll let us go? Just tell me what happened next. So now that you know the truth, I mean, it's over, right? I mean, there's really no point in me being here. Silence. <laughs> Assuming we believe her. I've said enough! You, you believe me? Don't you? I'm not stupid. I know you could check my story with the paternity test as soon as the baby's born, so there's no point in me lying to you. This baby isn't your grandchild. I think you know that. Father, is that my baby?